Well, since we're having difficulty getting into a key at the moment, um, I'm going to talk about covenants real quick. Um, I've uh, had a couple people asking me, especially since I swapped Kyrian, um, this, uh, I guess this is coming up through my second week as Kyrian. Um, I've had some people asking me uh, what I thought about covenants and stuff. So uh, at this point, I've been every covenant at least twice. I think I've been Necrolord three times. Um, everything definitely twice. Uh, and so I've had a chance to kind of play around with everything and get a feel for um, the different covenants. Um, and I can I can say in confidence that I, I believe that for Holy specifically, um, Priest is in a really good spot. Oh, look at that. Uh, Priest is in a really good spot and uh, can really viably go any covenant. It's just about what you're looking for and what your goals are. Um, so, Kyrian, let's start with that since that's what I am right now. Uh, Kyrian has arguably the highest personal damage, so for a Mythic Plus perspective, you're going to be bringing more damage than uh, some of the other Covenants. It is on a big cooldown, it's on a three minute cooldown, um, but it lets you pop it at opportune moments um, and, uh, and focus down a pack really quickly or something like that. So it does feel very, very nice for that, and my d damage in dungeons has been um, quite a bit higher than it has, especially as Night Fae. Um, compared to Night Fae. Uh, the Soul Binds are okay. I haven't been super impressed with them. Um, Pelagos, the Mastery feels pretty nice, but uh, it's tied with Boon of the Ascended, so um, you're getting the increase to your healing when you're Discord or ho Holy. Uh, both of your Masteries there increase your healing. It doesn't increase your damage. And so you're getting the benefit of that fit of that during Boon of the Ascended, which is not really helping you. It does last for quite a while afterwards, which helps you recover. Um, but uh, that's that's something to consider. Um, Clea, the burst healing, uh, I, I honestly don't know how much that does. I haven't been super impressed by it, but it does seem like a nice passive effect. Clea also has some nice benefits uh, for, uh, like buffing up health of your party when you're above 90% uh, health and giving you a nice shield in between pulls and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of like having the option. What I've been doing, right or wrong, this is what I've been doing. For Mythics, I run this potency as Holy uh, to help burst, uh, boost up my, my damage. Um, and then for Raids, I just save Conduit Energy by swapping over here. And I just go without the second potency and I get resonant accolades which helps double your healing when you're healing somebody above 70% health um sorry uh 4% of the not double sorry excuse me 4% of the healing is replicated and it helps top them up faster so kind of nice um you're getting a lot of that as holy anyways with the trails of light and mechanicos um I've tried running my shadow as him and it, f it feels pretty good for dungeons because of this right here, Hammer of Genesis. Uh, for trash pulls and stuff like that, you're getting a lot of haste um, right at the beginning, so that helps uh, your burst damage right on a pull. Um, so Kyrian overall, it's felt good, pretty good. Cons about Kyrian is it really seems like it's all about the damage. Um, you lose survivability when you compare it to Necrolord. Uh, and also the ability is probably the hardest to actually pull off because especially as holy you have to you have to stop healing to do it it doesn't you double dip as disc so you get atonement healing um, which is nice uh, but as holy you have to pick a moment where you don't have to heal and then I usually uh, survive through the healing portion with using things like guardian spirit and, and my tuft uh, trinket um, so there's that. So Kyrian uh, also sacrifices mobility, uh, but gains probably the best damage. Um, let's go to Night Fae. Night Fae. Uh, oh, sorry. One last thing about Kyrian. Feels great in uh, Mythic uh, Dungeons as both Disc and Holy and Shadow, uh, but Raids um, it's pretty much worthless for Holy. It just brings some extra damage, but it brings nothing else. Uh, as disc, it's okay, but there's better options. You really need to be Venthyr if you're planning to raid as disc. Um, this is probably a decent choice because you can get a big, uh, you can get a big spirit shell ramp every three minutes, 
um, but it's not anything compared to night games, night or mind games. Night Fey is the utility king. Uh, you get speed. You get tons of mana. It's about the equivalent of a mana potion every one and a half minutes, which is really nice. Um, you get a twenty second, twenty percent damage reduction external, which is really strong. Um, yeah, uh, Night Fey has a lot going for it. The only negative is it's bad for raiding as disc because it provides no damage boost, which makes it hard to uh, get spirit shells off at you know full benefit. Um, and your personal damage is going to be much lower. Your utility is, is really poured into making a DPS much better, uh, like a Fire Mage or something like that. So Night Fey has felt really solid, and I'm probably going to go back to Night Fey at some point. Um, it's just in a really strong spot. Uh, so it's good for all three specs for all content except for rating as disc. So if that's something you're wanting to do, then you're probably better off with Venthyr. Speaking of which, Venthyr feels pretty solid for um, all three specs. Mind Games is pretty easy to use. It has the second best mana regen compared to Night Fae. Um, because you get uh, mana back whenever you cast uh, Mind Games, which is pretty nice. Um... So uh, Venthyr's felt pretty good. It's pretty much, pretty much mandatory for disc uh, when you're raiding. Um, so there's that. And it's pretty decent for holy. It, uh, it, talking from a Mythic Plus perspective, it gives some pretty decent damage. It's probably one of the best for single target damage. It's all on a 45 second cooldown, so you can use it a lot. Um, I personally, when I'm running as holy, I just forget to use it a lot, so I wasn't getting the full benefit. Uh, Draven specifically is an incredible soulbind. Uh, it gives you passive speed, gives you extra uh, healing output and extra uh, health. It's just a really nice uh, soulbind, so I like Venthyr a lot. Uh, Necrolord uh, has probably the easiest um, Covenant ability to use and get good value out of. Uh, Unholy Nova is, uh, I believe it was my top damage um, when I was doing keys, just because best consistent damage uh that's easy to use compared to boon of the ascended boon of the ascended is really strong but you have to really sacrifice everything else that you're doing whereas unholy nova is just you throw it out on an instant cast and there it goes um it also uh necrolord also has some of the best survivability with marileth i really like running marileth and keys because anytime you go below um 50 health you get at that nice shield um and it's only on like a 30 second cooldown um, that combined with the fact that flesh uh, craft is it's much stronger after 9.5, 9.0.5. Um, so the only thing you're really missing out on necro is uh, speed. Like you are not very fast compared to uh, night fair or Venthyr. and uh, probably disc um, doesn't benefit from it as much. Uh, the unholy nova transfusion is not a ton of. I don't know. It's it's not as good as mind games when it comes to building up spirit shell ramps. It can be nice in keys because you just throw it out and you forget about it. Um, but I I have had uh, mana problems as um, as necro lord compared to the other specs. Um, you'd think I would have mana problems as uh, Kyrian too because there's nothing that I have that benefits mana. But maybe it's just the fact that at this point I have more gear uh, compared to when I was running as Necrolord, so I'm not feeling it as much. Maybe, or maybe I've just gotten used to it. Um, so anyways, that's kind of my analysis of Covenants. Really, you can go whatever you want. Um, so my checklist would say, if you're not sure what to go and you primarily find yourself playing Holy, probably go to Night Fae. The mana regen and the utility is just too good. Um, if you find yourself rating at all as disc then you probably want to consider uh um you probably want to consider going um Venthyr. if you have a an exclusive focus on mythic plus uh Kyrian might be a good choice to go for the extra damage if you're wanting to ride that fine line of you know pushing keys and getting as much damage as you can otherwise uh necrolord or really any of them can work well uh, Necrolord is easy and has lots of survivability and will provide really, really good consistent damage if you find yourself failing to use the other stuff a lot, uh, like mind games and whatnot. Um, and then if you're focusing on raiding, uh, I would not really recommend Kyrian. Uh, I didn't include Shadow really in my analysis, but um, 
I'm still working and learning on that. So, all right, let's do this key. So, hope that was helpful. Uh, again, I'm learning like you. I'm just kind of working my th One. way through it. So, if you have any points about covenants that I missed, uh, feel free to let me know. And, uh, you know, I've had my mind changed several times, so I'd love to have my mind changed again. Okay. <laughs>